Ah, <sighs> being a pathogen is so hard. I wish I could survive and be friends with human cells, but their immune systems make it really difficult. Like this one time, I infected this kid named Roger. I broke the first line of defense with my buddies pretty easily. All of us were all different types of pathogens, some viruses, bacteria, and large parasites. I, for one, am a bacterium. Anyway, Roger had cut himself playing basketball, so he just walked right on in. But, unfortunately, the inflammatory response of Roger's immune system had already started. The injured basophils and mast cells were releasing histamine, plus other leukocytes and damaged connective tissues were releasing prostaglandins. Histamine and prostaglandins are super annoying because they trigger dilation and increase permeability of nearby capillaries. The capillaries become leaky and allow cells to seek out of them, which cause swelling. The increased blood flow soon brought the neutrophils onto the scene. Neutrophils are so annoying. They engulf two of my friends. Then as if we didn't have enough to deal with, the macrophages arrived. They're these huge phagocytes that can not only engulf pathogens, but can also clean up damaged tissues and neutrophils. Plus, once they engulf a pathogen by phagocytosis, they encase it into a phagosome, which combines with lysosome and uses enzymes to break down the pathogen. But what's worse is that they put the pathogen's proteins onto the outside of their cell membrane. How degrading. Okay, back to the story. Natural killer cells started to attack. Five virus-infected cells got lysed once the natural killer cells started to release perforin. My larger parasitic friends were faring pretty well up to this point. That's when the isonophils started attacking. They killed some of my buds by discharging destructive enzymes from cytoplasmic granules. Somehow, I managed to survive all of that. However, Roger's immune system started to up its game. Leukocytes started to release pyrogens, which raised Roger's body temperature. This started to scare me a little bit because my proteins denature pretty quickly. Plus, complement proteins started to carry out the cascade of steps that ends in the laces of pathogens. Then, interferons started to be secreted by virus-infected cells. Interferons are an antiviral protein that diffuses to neighboring cells and induces them to produce other chemicals that inhibit viral reproduction. So, basically, they inhibit the spread of viruses in the body. That's when I decided to get the heck out of Roger's body. His immune system was way too good for me. I hadn't even been able to pass the second line of defense. <laughs>